بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح الصدر ويسر لأمري وأهل الأخضة من لساني يفقه قولي أما بعد أن إن شاء الله Today we're going to continue from where we stop concerning the issue on the sunnah of entering the bathroom. And we stop for the sixth one. So the seventh one we say, make we be extra careful when we urinate, may the urine no splash for our body. For Sahih al-Buhari, we had the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they passed by two graves. Now I caught it and say, people with this grave, they, they punish them. But what did they punish them for? No be big sin. No be major sin. Say now because you know they protect himself from urine. The eighth one be say, after you don't relieve, relieve yourself, you don't peace finish. If they recommend it, say me use water, take clean yourself. For Sahih so Muslim, at this 271A, when Anas bin Malik, may Allah they please with him. In talk say, whenever the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa entered the privy, that toilet, say him and one other of a messenger will carry a uh, skin water, follow him with long stick. Then he go use the water to clean himself. Then the ninth one we say, if they use tissue paper or pebbles to clean yourself, Make you do so three times or any odd number of time. According to Sahih Muslim, Hadith 239, Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him. In talking here, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they talk. Say, if any of you are clean yourself with pebbles, make you do so odd number of times, like three times. And this one also, it is applicable if they use tissue paper. The tenth one be say, make we no talk for bathroom or make we know and make we no call our name. For Ibn Majah at this 352, where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is himself, now one man can the pass. As this man can the pass, now he can greet the Prophet, now Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can tell him, say, once you see me for this kind of state, now they greet me. Because if you greet me, I no go answer you. And also, this act of make them only talk for bedroom. The scholars don't agree. Say na makro. It did dislike. It did discourage. As na know already. Say the rulings for Islam na five them be. The first one we will get the the fard with the compulsory. Then the second one they get the mustahab. It they advisable. It they encourage. The third we say they get the mubah. They permissible. The fourth they get the makro. They dislike, they discouraged. And the last one, we say they get the haram, they forbidden to do them. So this macro, it they one degree above the haram. Also for Sahih al Bahari, at this 3860, where uh, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu say once in the day with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and him they carry pot of water for the Prophet, may he perform ablation and where he go to clean the private part. Then the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam come out, say, who be this? Now he talks, say, na Abu Huraira. Now he come tell and say, make him go bring stones for a man to clean himself. And make him no bring bones or uh, dungs. May, may, may no bring those um, for a man bring stones. So the eleventh one be say, make you leave the toilet with your right foot. As we don't describe before, I want to talk about the seventh one of entering the toilet with your left foot. We will talk on how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the use the right leg for positive things. Like, you know, the right for positive things like eating, drinking, maybe they comb the hair and so on. And the left for impurities, things we don't get honor. So the same ruling applied to this one. So if they leave the toilet, if they better make you come up for toilet with your right leg, as you don't enter with your left leg, so they don't say the toilet no be clean place. So you enter with your left leg, and if they come out, you come out with your right leg. Then the last one, we'll be saying at the number 12, number 12 sunnah of entering the bathroom. We say, 
make you say the dua when they come out for bathroom. For Jamia Tirmidhi, hadith number seven, where the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, if they come out for bathroom, he go say Allah, Gufranak Allahumma. He go say Gufranak Allahumma. Say I seek your forgiveness, O Allah. So make we try as much as possible, make we emulate of the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So we go the dua right. So we could draw the curtain for here. I urge you and myself also make with the follow of the sunnah and ethics. Wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.